Hi to you watching this video. So for this video, we're going to discuss about masonry works. Okay, so before we go to uh, masonry works in the civil engineer, uh, engineering construction, so let us first define what is masonry. So masonry work refers to any structure that has been built by binding individual materials together with mortar. So it is a paste made of cement, water, and sand. So it is anything that has been binded by a mortar okay so in our case it would be a uh, it would be a concrete hollow block here in the philippines uh we uh we are fa uh chb is a famous uh material in the construction industry used as a partition okay so partition wall okay so concrete hollow block is popularly known as CHB. It is classified as load-bearing and non-bearing blocks. So if it is a load-bearing block, these uh, are having a thickness ranging from 15 mm, uh, 150 mm to 200 mm and are used to carry load aside from its own weight. So if it is a load-bearing uh, load CHB, nagkikarry siya ng load aside from its load and if its compressive strength is greater than uh, or above 500 psi, then that is already considered low, uh, load bearing uh, CHB. Now, if it is a non bearing block, on the other hand, these are blocks intended for walls, partitions, fences, uh, dividers, and other uh, like carrying uh, its own weight, whose thickness ranges from 70 mm to 100 mm mm okay so if it is a non-load bearing block ang binubuhat niya lang is yung kanyang weight and ginagamit natin siya kadalasan just for a simple partition without carrying any load aside from its weight so if it is below 5000 psi then we consider that as a non-load bearing chb okay so concrete hollow block with uh which generally comprises of the following items it is uh, number one. It is a concrete hollow blocks, or it is a CHB. Next for uh, for uh, next number two, cement and sand for block laying. Ibig sabihin, nilili out na natin yung ating CHB. So we are going to use uh, mortar, cement, sand, and water. Next would be cement, sand, and gravel filler for the following core or cell. Okay. So, ano ba yung core or cell natin? Itong void. This void here, okay? So, this is the typical uh, CHB that we use in the construction industry for residential, for walls, for um, commercial uh, buildings or high-rise buildings. This this is the convention or this is the typical CHB that we use, okay? So, yung sinasabi natin na core or cell, ito yung void. Yan. So we placed uh, we placed there um actually this is uh, you call this uh you call this uh, you call the combination of cement sand and gravel as cement filler but some this uh this uh this practices is uh rarely not rarely but it is not commonly used because um for uh, for the filler on on uh, for the filler on the hollow core or the cell, normally ang ginagamit dyan ng mason is cement, sand, and water lang. Bakit? Kasi if magkaiba, if magkaiba yung halo natin sa cement, sand, and uh, cement, magkaiba yung halo natin para sa filler and para sa laying, baka uh, nagkakaroon minsan ng confusion and at the same time uh, time consuming. Okay? Bakit? Kasi, take note, pag if, lalagyan na natin dito ng uh, anang layer natin for layout ng mortar, wala dapat yung bato. Because uh, the thickness of the mortar from each of this CHB would only be half inch. Ayan. So, ito yan. So, pag pagpapatungin natin sila, dapat walang bato dito sa part na to. Kasi kung may bato yan, if there is gravel on that part, magsisway yung ating CHB, hindi siya stable. Okay, and dapat aligned yan yung face ng CHB. So, 
it has been a common practice in the field na ang ginagamit for CH billing, uh, na for the filling is cement, sand, and water only, which is mortar. But uh, if, uh, if it is a really tight budget, then what we do is we make or we use the mixture of cement as concrete. So that would be cement, sand, and gravel. Okay? But for our case, if we are uh, in this uh, course or in this subject, if we are to estimate the filler, yeah, no filler, if we are to estimate the filler, we will only be using cement and sand, cement, sand, and water. Okay? Next, cement and fine sand for plastering. Okay, bakit sinabi nating fine sand? Because, uh, normally, if we order, uh, if we order sand, it is uh, an ordinary sand. Pag sinabi nating sand lang, no, typically, it is an ordinary sand. And pag sinabi nating ordinary sand, uh, kadalasan, kinukuha yan sa river. So, that that is a river sand. If that is the case, yung river sand natin, marami yung mga maliliit na bato or yung tinatawag natin sa site as gravelites or gravelito. Kasi maliliit nga na gravel, gravelito. Okay? So, in that case, ang mangyayari, i, uh, ano natin yan, isisiving natin para matanggal yung mga uh, malalaking, medyo malalaking bato na hindi na siya fine, medyo coarse na siya actually. Okay? So, ang dapat matira dyan is fine sand. Kasi, take note, yung Par, uh, yung plaster na yan, ito yan, dapat fine lang ang matitira dyan. Kasi, ang thickness lang ng ating, uh, ang thickness lang ng ating, ang thickness lang lang ating uh, 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 rough plaster is 19mm. Imagine, gano kanipis yan. Okay? And we cannot afford to have uh, yung mga uh, umaalon-alon due to uh, due to gravel and hassle yan pag may mga bato tapos nagpa-plaster tayo uumbok at uumbok yan so uh, tatanggalin, ng, uh, tatanggalin ng mason tapos uh, kikinisin niya ulit tapos may lalabas so that's why when we do a uh, plastering we only use fine sand okay yan or if ayaw naman natin if ayaw naman natin mag uh, sieving or mag uh, I forgot the Tagalog term of sieving. If ayaw natin yung uh, sinasala, I forgot the term. Oh, anyway, sasabihin ko na lang sa live class natin if naalala ko. Okay? If ayaw natin mag-sieving, then there is another option for fine sand. We buy the what we call vibro sand. From the word itself, vibro, ibig sabihin vibrated sand siya. So, it is a fine sand. Though, mas mahal lang siya ng konti compared sa uh, ordinary sand. But if you're going to compare, kasi sa re regular sand, mag-ano uh, ka pa, mag-sieve ka pa. ba? So, ganun din, nag-aksaya uh, nag ka din ng oras ng tao mo kasi nag-sieve din sila. And yung materials mo, imagine, up to 33% yung component ng uh, gravel sa fine sand. Okay? So, around uh, 66% lang ng uh, river sand yung uh, fine sand. So, if you are going to compare, halos magkaparehas lang din yung kanilang magiging costing. Okay? Next is cement, sand, and gravel for foundation or footing. So, this uh, this is a structural concrete. Okay? Though, meron din tayong tinatawag na uh, wall footing, sa wall footing, uh, yeah, ginagamit din natin dun is concrete, then uh, may ibang mga gumagamit ng load-bearing CHB. Okay? So, sa, oh, sa ano, after ng footing pad natin. Next is reinforcing steel bars. So, we also use reinforcing steel bars in our, uh, in our, um, in our, walls in our uh, CHB wall kasi after every space niyan lalagyan natin yan ng bakal and sa horizontal nilalagyan din natin yan ng bakal bakit that is to resist lateral movement or uh, to resist uh, tension forces because uh, ito itong CHB natin it is only uh, it can only resist compression 
when we say compression, pag non-load bearing, ang kaya niya lang i-resist, it's, it, uh, is its own weight. Now, if nagkaroon ng lateral movement, nagkaroon ng movement horizontal or lateral movement, tapos wala tayong, uh, wala tayong uh, reinforcing steel bar, walang mag, walang mag, uh, walang magre-resist dun sa lateral force, uh, lateral uh, movement natin or lateral force. So, there is a tendency na uh, with the horizontal force or lateral force, magiba yung ating uh, magiba yung ating partition. That's why we are installing uh, we are installing horizontal and vertical uh, reinforce reinforcing steel bars. Okay, so may bakal yan horizontally, may bakal din yan vertically. Typically, ang ginagamit natin for uh, reinforcing steel bar for non load bearing are 10 mm diameter. RSB. Okay. And lastly would be the tire wires. Now for the tire wires, para saan ba yung tire wires na yan? Take note, yung tire wires na yan, yan yung gagamitin natin para itali yung uh, vertical and horizontal na bakal. Okay. Magkakaroon ng intersection or ibig sabihin, the horizontal reinforcement and the vertical reinforcing steel bar will meet somehow and on the intersection or the, on the meeting point it will be um, it will be fixed with the help of tire wires so GI tire wires okay yun yung gagamitin natin so yeah for estimating masonry we are going to use the area method okay so, for the area method, our main concern will be the area of the CHB wall or it is the area where we are going to install our CHB. Now, typically, for a CHB or concrete hollow blocks, the properties would be a 0 0.4 meter length or it is 16 inch and it has a height of 0 0.2 meter or it is 8 inch. Now, the thickness varies depending on uh, its function, no? So, if it is an interior wall, more or less, this uh, the thickness of the CHP. So, ito yung, uh, ito yung kanyang thickness or ito yung kanyang, uh, ito yung kanyang width. For the thickness, if it is an interior CHB, it would be a 0.1 meter or that is 4 inch CHB. So if it is an exterior of a uh, exterior of a house or residential house, pwede na yung uh, 0 0.125 meters or it is the 5 inch. But if it is a uh, uh, high rise building, we use the 6 inch or uh, higher. But commonly we use the 6 inch for the exterior wall. Okay? So dyan tayo nagkakaiba. Now for the... Uh, for the area method, we are going to use a 1 by 1 square meter of hollow block. Okay, so for example, this is 1 meter, 1 meter by 1 meter, I want hollow block, no? This is 1 meter, 1 meter by 1 meter, so this is 1 square meter. Okay, now the CHB, the width of the CHB is 0 0.4 meters, okay? And the height of your CHB is equivalent to 0 0.2 meters. Ngayon, titignan natin kung ilang 0.4 ang magkakasya sa 1 meter. Okay? So, we have here 0.4. We have here 0.4. Then, we have here another 0.2. Diba? So, that is 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. Next naman is, ilan yung magkakasyang 0 0.2 sa isang 1 meter. So, that is 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Then, we have here 1 meter. Okay? So, if bibilangin natin yan, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this is uh, 0.2 by 0.2 by uh, point, uh, by adding them, magiging isa siya, tama ba? Because this is 0.2 plus 0.2, magiging 0.4. Okay, so 
Okay, so magiging 1 piece din siya. Likewise, if we are going to add this point 2 plus point 2, magiging 1 piece. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.5. Ibig sabihin, sa isang 1 square meter, may magkakasyang 12.5 pieces of CHB. Okay? You can also use this method if uh, you will be using different types, like for example, if it is a brick or the uh, a or a more advanced type of hollow blocks kasi this is just the typical hollow blocks that we are using but uh, with respect to science, nag evolve nag evolve ang ating uh, hollow blocks so there might be a time na baka uh, yung dimension ng hollow block na gagamitin na natin in the future might change but we can still use this method okay so for a 1 square meter ang gagamitin natin is 12.5 pieces of CHB that's why our factor for CHB is 12.5 pieces per square meter. Okay? Now, hindi naman tatayo mag-isa yan yung hollow block pag ipapatong mo lang. We need to mix it with mortar. Okay? So, mortar is composed of cement, fine sands, and lime. So, it is used in binding material when building with brick, block, and stone. Okay? Now, uh, yung mortar natin da, gagamitin natin sa dalawang uh, gagamitin natin sa dalawang sa dalawang uh, parts we have here the mortar fill and we have here the black laying mortar yung mortar fill yun yung ipapasok natin dito sa ating void sa void ng ating CHB okay yan yung tinatawag nating mortar fill now, yung block laying mortar, ito yung tinatawag natin, uh, yung nilalagay natin after natin ipatong yung CHB para magbind sila, magdikit. Okay? So, yan. So, you ha we have here for 4 inch mortar fill, we have 0 0.003 cubic meter per piece. While if it is 6 inch, it would be 0 0.006 cubic meter per piece. Bakit? Paano nangyari yan? Okay? Let's try to derive our values. So, we have here. Okay, so sabihin natin, this is our hollow blocks. Okay, so ilan ang, ilang ng butas ng hollow blocks natin? We have three. So, we have here, one, two, three. But, uh, hindi dyan natatapos kasi meron tayong edge if you're going to check it uh, or if you're going to observe it, meron tayong edge okay so meron tayong pasobra okay, so i-redraw ko lang para mas uh, ma-imagine natin Okay, so ito yung ating CHB, no? So, pagpasensya nyo na yung aking freehand. Okay, so take note, this is, the length here is around, uh, this is uh, 400 mm, so 400 mm. Then, the height is 200 mm. Okay, let's say, na gagamitin natin is the 4 inch, Okay. So, yung 4 inch natin is also equivalent to 100 mm. So, how are we going to determine the volume of the fill? So, volume of the fill. Okay? So, kunin muna natin yung dimension nito. Okay? Kunin natin yung dimension nito. Take note that the thickness of the wall, ito, yung thickness ng wall na yan, that is equivalent to 1 inch or that is equivalent to 25 mm. Likewise, with this one, the thickness here is equivalent to 1 inch and that is equivalent to 25 mm. Okay? So, maski, fi, uh, maski 5 inch uh, five inch yung uh, CHB natin or 6 inch, ang thickness ng walls natin would be 1 inch or 25 mm. So, how, are, how, am, how, how am I going to get uh, the volume of the, uh, the voids? So, for the volume of the voids, uh, it would be 400 minus 
we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, apat. Minus 4 times uh, 25. Okay? 4 minus 25. And that is equivalent to 300. So, ibig sabihin, this distance, this distance, this distance, this distance, and this distance, ipagsasamahin natin, that is 300. Okay? etong kalahati na to, pag pinagduktong natin itong kalahating void na to, equivalent siya sa ganito. Equivalent siya sa isang, uh, isang, uh, isang uh, void. Okay? So, 300 divided by 4 is equivalent to 75. So, that is 75 mm. Ibig sabihin, on this side, yung isang ganyan, that is equivalent to 75 mm. Okay? Now, ano naman yung dimension sa side na to? Okay? So, what is the dimension on this side? Take note, we are using the 100 mm. So, 100 mm minus, we have 2 of 25 inch minus 2 of 25 that is equivalent to 50 mm. Therefore, this is equivalent to 50 mm. So, if I am to redraw this, no? If i-redraw ko siya, ganito na magiging itsura niya. Okay. So, this is 75 mm. This is now uh, 50 mm. Uh, 50 mm and the height is 200 mm okay therefore the volume the volume of the fill is equivalent to take note apat yan we have kasi 1 2 3 half half that is 4 okay so 0 0.075 times 0 0.05 times 0 0.2 times 4 Okay, nakameters na yan ha. So, 0 0.75 times 0 0.05, ano, 0 0.75 times 0 0.2 times 4. That is equivalent to 0 0.003 cubic meter per piece. Okay, so doon ang galing yung 0 0.003 cubic meter per piece. Now, for the 6 inch, same procedure. Ang mapapalitan lang is ito. Instead of 100, magiging 175. So, this is 4, 4 inch. Now, what if it is 6 inch? So, itry natin si 6 inch. So, 150 minus 2 times 25. That is equivalent to 100. Okay? So, volume of the fill for 6 inch is equivalent to 0 0.075 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.2 times 4. So, palitan lang natin si 0 0.05 ng 0.1. And that is equivalent to 0 0.006 cubic meter per piece. Doon ang galing si 0 0.006. Okay? Now, for the block laying of the mortar, block laying ng mortar, Ito naman siya. Take note. <coughs> Ang i-measure natin this time is yung top. Okay? So, assuming nandun pa rin tayo sa 4 inch na 100 mm, it would be 0.4 times 100. So, for the volume, for, uh, for the volume of the uh, laying mortar, it is equivalent to 0 0.4 length times the width or the thickness of 0 0.1 and take note yung kapal nung ano natin ito itong kapal ng, ng mortar natin dito is half inch okay and half inch is equivalent to 12.5 12.5 mm divided by 1000 mm to make it in meters okay so Yung laying mortar natin is 0 0.4 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.0125. And that is equivalent to 0 0.0005 cubic meter per piece. Okay? So, yan na yung ating, uh, dyan ang galing yung ating 0 0.005 cubic meter per piece. Okay? 
Then, after natin sa CH bilihing, dediretso naman tayo sa plastering. So, plastering, it is the process of covering rough walls and uneven surfaces in the construction of houses so and other structures with a plastic material called plaster. Okay? So, which is a mixture of lime or cement, concrete, and sand along with required quantity of water. So, it is a mortar pa din. So, we have... Um, so, we have uh, cement, sand, and water for this one. Okay? So, we, yeah. so we have two uh, kinds of plastering. So, we have here the rough plastering. So, the rough plastering, it is to cover, uh, to cover, the, uh, to cover the CHB. Then, for the fine plastering, this is the finishing na. Finishing yung plastering. Pampak pinapakintab na natin yung ating wall. Okay? So, for the thickness of the rough plaster, it is 3 fourth of an inch or that is equivalent to 19 mm. Okay? So, we are now ready to estimate. So, yung nasa module nyo, which is ito, to try natin na uh, basahin naman yung nasa plano nyo. Okay? So, you have the solution for this uh, one on your, uh, on your module. So, let's try to check dito naman sa ating plano. Okay, so ito yung ating plano. Let's try to uh, to refer it to our architectural plan. Okay, so this is A2. So from here, let's try na ano lang, uh, grid B. Uh, grid B, we have, um, we have here from this point. Or wait, sige, sabihin na lang natin from grid B to... Uh, grid B to grid B grid 2B to grid uh, to uh, 5B okay I repeat from grid 2B to grid 5B okay so if we're going to ch uh, to check it hindi tayo naka or naka on center tayo rather so if check natin this is grid 2B. Naka on center tayo sa column. Then, dito naman, naka on center din tayo sa column natin. So, the, the span is equivalent to, okay, so the span here is equivalent to, we have uh, 3.995. Plus, 2.005 plus 2.950 uh, okay so the total span of grid b to uh, grid 2b to grid 2 uh, 5b is equivalent to 8.95 but of course we need to remove yung column Okay? Kasi hindi naman natin lalagyan na yan ng hollow block. So, that is point 2. Diba? Ang sa schedule natin, this is, uh, I think, that is C1. If we're going to base it on the, yeah, we're going to base it on the, we're going to base it sa plano natin, second framing plan. Okay? This is S1. S1 of 3. Ayan. Okay? So, if we base natin sa plano, this is C1, 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 C1. So, apat na C1. Actually, hindi pala siya naka-on center. If we are to check it, hindi siya naka-on center dito. Okay? Since, naka-ano naman siya, naka-scale siya dito, what I want you to do is to measure. Okay? But, uh, para hindi tayo maubusan ng oras sa sa pag-record natin, uh, we assume that this is on center. Okay? And take note, meron din tayong pasobra dito. Okay? So, may, meron tayong pasobra dito sa side na to. Okay? And, yeah. Okay? So, yan. So, uh, according to our plan, C1, that is C1. So, for column 1, it is, ito, point 0.2 yung width natin, ay yung isang dimension, other side, 
0.2, the other side of the face is 0.4. And basing it on the orientation of our plan, ito yung 0.4 natin. Okay? Yan yung ating 0.4. So, we have dalawang 0.2 tapos isang or dalawa ding 0.4 ang ibabawas natin. Now, for the area of the CHB, take note, it is 8.95 minus so 8.95 minus uh, point, point 0.2 times 2 plus point 0.4 times 2 so yung length natin is 7.75 yung total length nito pag sinubtract na natin yung mga column so that is 7.75 7 okay times yeah. Pero meron kasi ito eh. Okay? Wait. I-measure na nga natin. Okay. So, if we are to measure that, since it is 1 is to 100 naman yung scale, we can use the ruler. Okay? Hindi natin kailangan ng ating Toblerone. Sana yun? Ito. So, this one is around... It is equivalent to 250 mm. Okay? So, uh... 7.75 plus 0.25 mm or uh, meters yan yung isang side tapos ano yung height ano yung height nito okay itong section na to ang i-estimate lang natin is the first floor okay so if we are to base it sa elevation take note this is section or grid B okay Tap, tignan natin si side ng grid B Okay, so, yan. So, ito siya. Okay, so, ito yung side na yun. And, uh, from the first floor line, okay, bakit yung first floor line? Kasi nandyan nakapatong, nandyan na yung slab natin. So, dyan ipapatong yung hollow blocks. So, ang, ang in-estimate nating uh, area ng CHB is ito. Okay, so, ito yung in-estimate uh, in nating area ng CHB. B. So, if that is the case, ang mangyayari, uh, it is the first floor line up to the first floor ceiling line. So, i ilagay na natin hanggang sa ceiling. Though, hindi naman, uh, ah, yeah, kasi this is the first, uh, second floor, uh, yeah, this is the second floor line. So, yeah, more or less, that is, uh, nandyan na yun yung ating beam. So, it is elevation 0. If you're going to check it here, this is elevation 0. Okay? And this is elevation 2.9. Therefore, the height is 2.9. Okay? So, times. So, we have here times 2.9 meters. So, makukuha na natin yung area ng CHB. Are we done? No, we're not yet done. Because we need to subtract the area of the different windows. So, we have here, we have here window 2. Ayan, we have window 2. We have, or no, that is window 5. We have here window 5. We have here window 2. Another window 2. Window 4. Ah, hindi. Dito tayo nag, wait, nag-stop lang pala tayo kay 5. So, window 5, window 2. Now, hindi natin alam yung dimension nito. So, ang gagawin natin is we're going to uh, measure. Okay? So, isubtract natin si window 2. What is the area of window 2? So, the area of window 2 we have here. Ayun. So, that is 1 meter. Ayan. So, para makita nyo. Window 2, that is 1 meter by... 1.25 okay so we have 1 times 1.25 so that is 1.25 and yung isa is a window 5 so saan si window 5? ito so isubtract natin wait pakita ko si para hindi tayo nalilito sa solution minus 1.25 minus we have here window 5 so, window 5, we have 1.2 by 0.35. Okay? So, 
1.2 times 0.35 minus 0 0.42 minus 0 0.42 minus are we done no we're not yet done because we have this no yung malaking uh, salamin from the first floor up to the second floor so since it is one but one is to 100 pwede natin i-measure kung nahihirapan tayo and base it from here it is uh, it is 1.45 okay so 1.45 by uh, the elevation of 2.9 okay so double check nyo na lang pwedeng naduling din naman ako so that is 1.45 minus 1.9 Okay, yun, makukuha na natin yung area ng ating CHB. So, for the area of CHB, that is 7.75 plus 0.25 times 2.9 minus 1.25 minus 0.42. Take note, area na to, ah. Area na to. Ito, linear measurement to. Linear, linear. Area, uh, then, this is uh, times. This is area as well. Okay. So, minus 1.45 times 1.9. And that is equivalent to 18.775 square meters. Okay? Okay. So, we already have our area here. So, try na uh, sundan natin yung sabi dun sa rule na do not round off the pwede naman kasi natin i-round off since uh, it is already on the third decimal so maliit lang impact niya na implication but for the purpose na masundan ng mga wag check uh, if you check yung work natin or uh, may uh, may gustong i-backtrack para hindi mahirapan let's use the uh, let's use the unrounded value okay so our factor is 12.5 12.5 pieces per square meter. So, ilan yung area natin? That is 18.775 square meters. Square meters will cancel out. So, 18.775 times 12.5. And that is equivalent to 234.69 pieces. But in this case, ang CHB kasi natin, wala yung decimal. So, ang o-orderin natin is equivalent to 235 pieces of uh, 235 pieces of 4 inch CHB. Okay? Yan yung o -order. Ah, no. This is exterior. No, 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 no. No, no. By 6 inch CHB. B. So, this is exterior wall. Okay? So, ang gagamitin ko is 6 inch. Now, for the uh, for the volume of the mortar, since it is a 6 inch, ito kasi this is 4 inch, itong example na to. Ang ginagamit natin, tulad nung sinabi natin sa ating example, since it is a 6 inch, ang factor natin for the fill is 0 0.006. So, 0 0.00 6 cubic meter per piece. Okay? So, palitan natin to ng 0 0.006. Okay. So, for the pieces, it is 235 times 0 0.006. Uh, six. That is equivalent to 1.41 cubic meter. Okay? So, ready na tayo. For the laying naman. So, for the block laying, ilan yung, uh, ilan yung pieces na na-compute natin? We have 235. So, 235 pieces of 6-inch hollow block. Ang factor natin dito is not uh, 0 0.005. Rather, it is 0 0.008. Ano, no, no. It is 0 0.0008 cubic meter per piece. So, palitan din natin ito. Okay? So, pieces will cancel out. Then, matitira sa atin is volume. Okay? So, 235 times 0 0.008. 
and that is equivalent to 0 0.188. Okay, so baka naguguluhan kayo ha. 235 pieces times the factor para mag-cancel out yung pieces, ang matitira is cubic meter. Therefore, natira na sa atin is yung volume nung for, uh, for laying. Nakukunin natin yung total volume ng mortar natin. So, yung total volume ng mortar natin is equivalent to we have here 141 1.41 plus 0 0.188 and that is equivalent to 1.141 ano no? 41 plus 0.188 that is equivalent to 1.598 cubic meter. Okay? Okay. Now, for the mortar, our default class would always be class B unless stated. But if it is not stated, then our default class would be class B. Now, for class B, we have here the table. It is, I, uh, it is 1 is to 3, cement is to sand. Okay? So, yan. So, for the cement, anong naku na nakuha nating volume? 1.598. So, 1.598 cubic meter of concrete is to 12 bags of cement. So, magka-cancel yung cubic meter, matitira si bags. Okay? So, 1.598 times 12. Hindi natin nabura. That is equivalent to 19.176 bags. Next, we have here 1.598 times a cubic meter of concrete is equivalent to 1 cubic meter of sand. Ayun, 1, 1. Okay? So, matitira sa atin si sand. So, this is equivalent to 1.598 cubic meter. Now, for the, for the water, ang gagamitin natin is one bag of cement is equivalent to 6 gallons of water. I repeat, one bag of cement is 6 gallons of water. So, ilan yung bag, uh, ilan yung bag natin? It is uh, 19, 19.178 6. So, times 6. So, magka-cancel si bag. Yan. Matitira sa atin is gallon. And that is equivalent to 115 point 0.56 okay why is it na hindi pa tayo nagra-round up dito sa bag because take note this is just a uh, this is just a uh, this is just a uh, mortar okay meron pa tayong uh, meron pa tayong meron pa tayong plus, rough plastering okay yan meron pa tayo dito rough plastering now, for rough plastering, it is still a mortar mix. But uh, in some practices, dito sa mortar, dito sa fill, yung ginagamit natin sa fill ng CHB, dito ginagamit sa fill ng CHB, nilalagyan nila ng gravel. Okay? Yan, hinahaluan nila ng gravel. Okay? But, okay na yung ano, uh, nakakalito kasing trabahuin yung may gravel tapos yung walang gravel. Take note, uh, isang halo ang gagawin dyan for the mortar. Isang halo yung sa laying, isang halo yung sa fill. E yung ano natin, yung laying natin, yung mortar for laying natin, hindi pwedeng may gravel yan kasi uuga yung CHB natin. Okay? So, ganun yung ginagawa natin. Dapat walang, uh, walang, walang uh, gravel. Going back to our plastering, Take note na dito na tayo sa ating rough plaster. Okay? So, for the rough plaster, ano ba yung nakuha nating area? Nakuha nating area is equivalent to, ayun, 18.775. Okay? So, 18.775 uh, square meters. Okay? So, 18.775 square meters. Tanggalin na natin to. Ito kasi, yung solution na to, ito lang. 6 by 3.3. Okay? So, ang nakuha natin is 18 by 77.5 square meters. But take note, 
pag nagpa-plaster ka, hindi lang naman dito sa side na to ang nilalagyan mo ng plaster. We are also placing plaster on the other side of the face. Therefore, there are two faces. Okay? So, yung 18.775 times two sides magiging yung area natin sa 18.775 times 2 the area therefore will become 37.55 square meters okay take note that most walls are plastered on both sides okay this will be depending if it will be a two side if it is one side then we'll stick with 18.775 but if it is two sides then we are going to use 37.55 square meters okay now for the volume of the mortar it is the area ang area natin is 37.55 square meters times the thickness of the mortar and the thickness of the mortar is 19 mm or that is 0 0.019 meters okay so times 0 0.091 so 37.55 times 0 0.019 that is equivalent to 0 0.71345 okay so we can now compute for our plaster okay i repeat class b pa rin tayo ha ang default class natin is b so for the cement it is 0 point and 0 0.71345 0 0.71345 so, 0 0.1345 cubic meter of a mortar and class B, so that is times 12 bags. So, times 12. Cubic meter will simply cancel out. So, times 12, that is equivalent to, ah, hindi rin nabura. That is 8.5614 and that is in uh, bags. Okay. Next would be the sand. So, for the sun, it is equivalent to point zero, uh, points 0.71345 times, for class B, it is 1. Okay, so 1 siya dito. So, cubic meter times 1. So, that is 1. Now, this time, we are going to have an increase of 33% due to the presence of gravel on river sand. Take note, if you are using the river sand direct from the supplier, ang in-order mo lang is ordinary sand or the river sand, may mga maliliit na gravel yan. And if that's the case, more or less 33% ng total volume ng gravel mo ay, uh, ng sand mo ay gravel. That's why i-increase natin ng 30% para uh, parang vinovoid out natin yung, or yeah, vinovoid out natin yung uh, volume no sand anong gravel okay but if you are going to order meron tayong tinatawag na vibro sand from the word itself vibrated sand vibro sand if yan ang in order mo then we no longer use the 1.33 okay i repeat if you're using vibro sand for the rough plastering then we no longer use the uh, 33 percent increase but if it uh, since hindi sinabi na vibro sand we assume that it is a ordi an ordinary sand or it is a river sand so times 1.33 to increase so therefore that is 0 0.9 uh, 9488885 okay actually okay na ngayon ano eh Okay na yung 4 decimal if ayaw talaga natin mag-round off. But uh, if we're going to use that, then we can stick with that. So that is cubic meter. Okay. Then, but for the final answer, uh, for the final answer, with uh, we are going to stick with 2 decimal, ha? For the final answer. Then for the bag of uh, water, I for the volume of water, volume ng water natin, ang na-compute nating bag is 8.5614 bags. So, bag will cancel out. One bag is 6 gallon of water. So, that is 8.5614. 5614 times 6 gallons. So, that is equivalent to 
51.3684 gallons. Okay? Now, for the fine plastered, plain, uh, fine plastering, okay? Sa fine plastering, ito na yon. Ito na yung ating fine plastering. So, pakikinisin pakikini na natin yung na plaster. Okay? So, for fine plastering, ganun pa rin naman yung procedure natin. We already have the area. So, ang area natin, area to be plastered is equivalent to, uh, burahin na natin to. Area to be plastered is 37.5. 55. So, that is 37.55 square meters. And take note, it is again two sides. Okay? Pero, naka two sides na tayo dito. So, mali ito. Mali, mali. This should be 18.775 uh, times two sides. So, that is equivalent to 37.55 square meters. So, this is the area that we are going to plaster. And for plastering, our factor is 2.5 kilogram of cement ang magagamit natin per square meter. Okay? I repeat, ang magagamit natin sa plastering is 2.5 kilogram of cement per square meter. Okay? So, ang area natin dito is 37.55. So, dito, we have 37.55 square meters times Per square meter, ang magagamit natin is 2.5 kilogram. And ang binibili nating bag ng kilogram na cement is the 40 kilogram. So, 40 kilogram of bag of cement is equivalent to one bag. Okay? Therefore, that is 37.55 times 2.5 times uh, 1. No, times 1 divided by 40. And that is equivalent to 2.5. Uh, 3, 4, 6, 9. Okay? So, actually, okay na yung uh, uh, 4 decimals. Now, dito na tayo sa total cement. Now, for the total cement, babalikan natin yung mga na-compute natin kanina. Okay? So, first, uh, total cement, ayun. So, we had uh, 19.176 plus, that is for uh, the fill now for plastering rough plaster we have uh, 8.5614 plus for the fine plaster at the yung fine plaster natin we have 2.3469 okay and that is equivalent to 19.176 plus 8.5164 plus 2.3469 that is equivalent to 30.0393 and that is equivalent to 31 bags okay if nakuha nyo tong 31 bags pero magkalayo yung sagot natin dito sa 30 okay 0.0393 your answer is incorrect okay okay ang gag gagamitin natin dito is plus or minus 0.5 ang gagamitin nating factor para ma-consider na correct yung sagot. Okay? Since hindi natin, uh, hindi tayo nag-round off. So, plus or minus 0.5. Now, for the sand, for the sand naman, it is 1.598 plus dito we have 0.9489 plus Dito, wala na tayong sand. So, 0. And that is equivalent to 1.598 plus point zero, ay point nine four eight nine That is equivalent to 2.5469. And ang gusto kong makita ang sagot is 2.55 cubic meter of sand. Though, ang bibilhin mo Ang bibilhin mong volume yan is, uh, bibilhin mong volume yan sa hardware or sa supplier is 3 cubic meter. Okay? Yan. Pero, hindi, hindi tayo magra-round off dito ha. Take note, ang, uh, ang, ang total lang natin for the sand here is, is uh, 2.55. Now, hindi 
pa tayo dapat mag-round off dito. Uh, when I say ito yung bibilhin, dapat ang binibili natin sa supplier ay buo. But, hindi tayo mag-round uh, mag off hanggat hindi natin nakukuha lahat ng sand. So, saan ba natin ginagamit ang sand? Ginagamit natin ang sand sa concrete. Ginagamit natin ang sand sa masonry. Okay? So, hanggat hindi natin nakukuha yung total sand na gagamitin natin sa buong structure, hindi pa tayo mag-round off. Yun yung tin isa rin sa tinutukoy natin. Kasi kung nag-round off na tayo dito, tapos mag-round off pa tayo sa concrete, tapos mag-round off tayo sa masonry, masyad, magkakaroon tayo ng masyadong excess. Okay? Or magkakaroon tayo ng excess. Unnecessary excess. Okay? So, pag nag-estimate ng concrete, huwag mo nang mag-round off ng, ng, ng cement, ng sand, ng gravel. Kasi meron pa tayong masonry. Okay? So, pag nakuha na natin yung sa, sa, yung sa, sa concrete at saka sa masonry, ipag-add natin yung total, then dun tayo mag-round off. Para, yun yung o-order rin natin. Or yun yung ilalagay natin sa bill of materials and cost estimates. Next is for the water. So, ayun. That is a reminder to drink water. Okay? Now, for the water, uh, yung sa water natin, ito. Yung sa water natin, we had here 115. So, we have here 115.056 plus yung isang gallons natin is 51. 51.3684 plus meron pa yung isa. Ano compute natin? Uh, sa fine plastering. So, for the fine plastering, uh, yeah, ito, yung sa fine plastering, which is grout, because it is a combination of cement and water lang, more, uh, mas less kasi siya, no? So, mas less kasi siya sa, sa, sa 6 gallons per, uh, per bag. So, So, actually, uh, mas less nga, yun nga, tulad nga sabi natin, mas less siya sa 6 gallons. And actually, it is uh, it, a tansiometer, okay? So, from the word itself, tansya, tansiometer. But let's use the 6 gallons, okay? So, 2.3469 uh, times, uh, we have here, um, 1 bag. 1 bag is equivalent to 6 gallons, so, bags will cancel out. Bags will cancel out and it will give us gallons. So, 2.3469 times 6. That is equivalent to 14.0814. 0.814. Okay. So, plus 51.3684. Plus 115.056. That is equivalent to 180.5058 gallons. And that is almost equivalent to 180.51 gallons. Okay? Yeah. These are the values that I want to see in your graded activities. But then again, hanggat hindi pa natin nakocompute lahat ng gallons ng water na magagamit natin for the whole construction, hindi tayo mag round up. Okay? Next would be the steel reinforcement for masonry. Now, for the steel reinforcement of the masonry, ganun din yung gagamitin natin. Gagamitin natin yung square, uh, yung area, area method. Okay? Sa reinforcement kasi ng bakal natin, we have what we call the vertical reinforcement and what we have what we call the horizontal reinforcement. So, sa vertical reinforcement, meron tayong tinatawag na spacing. Yung spacing natin is uh, between two, uh, two reinforcement vertical. So, ito yung vertical natin. So, ang, meron tayong spacing na uh, 40 mm, uh, 40 cm, 60 cm, or 80 cm. So, the distance can be 40 cm. Uh, 60 cm or 80 cm. Now, for the spacing ng layer natin, babalik tayo dun sa hollow blocks natin. Where is that? 
Ito. So, babalik tayo dito. So, sa spacing ng layer natin, mag pwedeng every 2 layer, maglalagay tayo ng bakal. Pwedeng every 3 layer, maglalagay tayo ng bakal. Or pwedeng every 4 layer, maglalagay tayo ng bakal. Yun yung sa horizontal reinforcement natin. Okay? I repeat. For every 2 layers, may bakal. Or pwedeng every 3 layers, meron tayong bakal. Or pwedeng every 4 layers, meron tayong bakal. Depende sa design ng designer. Okay? So, yan. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin para hindi na, uh, if ever na hindi nyo maalala itong mga factors na to, kasi wala kayong book sa site, gagamitin natin si area method pa rin. Now, for the area method, ilan ang magkakasya sa isang 1 square meter? Okay? So, let's say this is 1 meter by 1 meter. Okay? So, ang sabi dito, uh, determine the steelworks for given wall section using 0 0.8 horizontal spacing. So, ibig sabihin yung space between the vertical reinforcement is 0 0.8 and the spacing on the horiz uh, horizontal is 2 layers. Okay? Take note, yung sa CHB natin, yung sa CHB natin, the height of a CHB is 0.2. Okay? Therefore, ilan ang magkakasya sa isang point, uh, sa isang um, 1 meter, ilan magkakasya na 0.4 sa isang 1 meter. Okay? So, check natin. So, this is 0.4. This is 0.4. And that is 1 meter. Tama ba? 0 0.4. 0 0.4, 0 0.2, and that is 1 meter. Now, the vertical spacing, or uh, the spacing between um, between the horizon, the vertical uh, reinforcement is 0 0.8. So, maglalagay tayo dito ng 0 0.8, 0 0.8 plus, eh, 0 0.8, then ang space niya is 0. Point, ano, vertical reinforcement, and ang space niya is 0 0.8. Okay? So, this is 0 0.8 and this is 0 0.2. So, yan. So, 1 meter din siya. So, bali, ilan yung bakal na nagkasya? So, for the vertical, we have 1, 2. For the horizontal, every 0.4 kasi at uh, 2 layers eh. Okay? So, every 0.4. So, we have here 1, 2, 3. Okay? Therefore, the number of steel bars... Number uh, the number of steel bars is equivalent to five pieces per square meters. Okay, but are we done? No, we need to multiply it by uh, an in uh, by an increase of one uh, ten percent. Okay, we need to increase it by ten percent. Bakit? Kasi uh, ito yung ano. Uh, this is for the splicing. Uh, when we say splicing, for example, ito yung dalawa nating bakal ito yung natin bakal. Hindi naman natin mapagdudugtong na ganyan yan. Mapagdudugtong natin yan ng ganyan, then lalagyan ng tali. Itatali siya dito. Ganun natin pagdudugtongin. Okay? So, times 1.1. Therefore, it is 5.5 pieces per square meters. Okay? Na 1 meter, ah, uh, yeah. 5.5 pieces per square meter. No, no, no. It's not pieces. It is meter. Uh, I repeat, it is not pieces. It is meter. Bakit? We have 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 5 meter. So, it is uh, N is equivalent to 5, uh, 5 meter per square meters times an increase of 10% for the splicing. This one is uh, splicing. So, that is equivalent to 5.5 meters per square meter meters. Okay? So, yan na yung ating kagamitin. So, next would be, okay? So, next would be the area of the CHB. So, babalikan natin yung na-compute natin kanina. Yung nakuha nating area is 18.775. Okay? Kasi hindi, hindi to double, double uh, it's two sides, ha? Take note, iisa lang yan, CHB wall ang pinag-uusapan natin. It is not the face of the CHP wall. So, ang area natin is 18.775. So, dito, number o uh, CHB, it is 18.775 square meters. Okay? So, for the number of uh, RSB, 
number of reinforcing steel bars. So we have here 17.775 square meters times, dito it's not 4, but it is 5.5, okay? 5.5. So dito is uh, times 5.5 meters, okay? So 18. 18.775 times 5.5 square meters will cancel out. So, uh, we will be having 103 pieces. Oh no. Hindi pa. Wait. Mali itong nakasulat dito. 5.5 meters. Sige, sige. Tuloy natin. So, that is 103.20 uh, 23 uh, take note, uh, yeah, this is 103.26, 26 pieces. No, we, hindi siya magiging 104 pieces. Bakit? Take note, this is 5.5 meter. So, itong 103, 103.26 uh, pieces, multiply pa natin yan ng 1 piece or, ay, 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 ay. Mali. Mali yung unit natin. This should not be pieces. This should be in uh, meters. This one is in meters. Kasi matitira. Square meter divided by square meter. Cancel out. Matitira is meter. Okay? So, this is meter. So, 103.26 meter divided by... Uh, this is 6 meter. This 6 meter is commercial length. Okay? Commercial length. So, the commercial length is 6 meter is equivalent to 1 piece. Okay? So, mag-cancel out yung meter. So, it is a matter of unit analysis. So, 103.2625 divided by 6. Therefore, that is equivalent to uh, 17.21 pieces. Now, if hindi pa tayo tapos, hindi pa tayo tapos sa uh, estimation natin kasi meron pa tayong steelworks, hindi dapat natin to i-round off kasi magagam may ex magagamit pa natin yung 0.79 pieces. But in your case, since ang pinapahanap ko lang naman is steel reinforcement for masonry, then, uh, then we can round it off to 18 pieces. So, 18 pieces of D10mm diameter, yung diameter ng reinforcing steel bar times 6 meter, the commercial length. Okay? Now, we're not yet done actually because we are still going to estimate for the tire wires. Yung tire wires, yan yung ginagamit natin para matali yung mga bakal natin dito sa ating intersection. Okay? Now, for the length of the tire wires, it is ranging from 0 0.2 meter to 0 0.4 meter. Now, ang gagawin natin para uh, nandun tayo sa safe side, safe side kun natin yung average. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 divided by 2 is 0 0.3. We're going to use 0 0.3 meters. Okay? And ang bentahan ng uh, tire wire natin sa market or sa supplier is in kilogram. So, 1 kilogram of tire wire is equivalent to 53 meters. Okay? Yan, magagamit natin yan. Now, gaano kalaki yung tire wires natin? Or gaano kahaba? So, number of intersections per square meter. Okay? So, babalikan natin to. So, ilan ba yung intersection natin dito? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have intersection, 6 intersection ng mga bakal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Dito kasi, apat lang. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. But in our case, it is 6. So, we have uh, 6 pieces per square meters times ano yung wall area natin ang wall area natin is 18.775 18.775 and ang length na ginagamit natin ng tire wire is 0 0.3 so times 0 0.3 so square meters uh, this is square meters square meters were cancel out so 6 times 18.775 times 0.3 and that is equivalent to 33.795 meters. Okay? Ngayon, i-convert natin siya sa kilogram kasi kilogram yung bibilhin natin. 
Okay? So, this is 33.795 meters. And 53 meters is equivalent to 1 kilogram. So, magka-cancel yung meters. So, divided by 53. So, ang orderin mo is 0 0.6 uh, 6, 3, 6, 3, uh, 7, 6. Okay? 7, 6. Now, uh, sa tulad nga sabi ko sa inyo, yung final answer natin would only be in two decimal places. So, this will be 0 0.64 kilograms. Ito yung sagot for your activities. But, ang ordering mo is hindi 0.64. Rather, it would be 1 kilogram. Okay? It's either 0.5 or 1 kilogram. But in this case, it is 1 kilogram kasi mas mataas tayo ng 0.5. But then again, wag mo nang mag-round off ng 0.64. Itong 0.64 kilograms, wag mo natin i-round off ng 1 kilogram. Bakit? Kasi gagamitin pa natin yung tire wire sa uh, reinforcing steel bars. Okay? Sa uh, steel works natin. Okay? So, we're done with our estimation. And the next thing that we need to do is to uh, to determine the detailed cost estimate for masonry. This is a 150mm CHB non-load bearing wall, including reinforcing steel bars. Ang una natin gagawin is alamin natin yung productivity rate natin. Okay? Kasi from there, we can start with our labor. Kasi meron na tayong materials uh, material cost okay so alamin natin yung ating uh, productivity rate for masonry ito ang gagamitin natin so man hours per square meters okay so normally ang isang gang it is consisting of uh, for masonry it is consisting of three helpers uh, one mason and one steel man okay kasi yung steel man siya yung nag-aassemble dun sa mga uh, sa uh, reinforcement ng ano natin, si HB. So, ito yung gagamitin nating productivity rate. And since uh, ginamit nating hollow block for the exterior is 6 inch, for uh, man hours per square meter ng helper is 0.45. Sa man hours per, squ per square meter ng mason natin is 0 0.67 while the man hours for the steel man is 0 0.05. Okay, so we have here the productivity rate for the helper 0.45 man hour per square meter mason 0 0.65 a uh, 67 man hour per square meter still man 0 0.5 man hour per square meter and this is for achb iba rin naman sa 4 inch iba rin naman sa 8 inch like what we have uh showed a while ago okay then sa isang gang meron tayong tatlong helpers isang mason isang steel man one foreman and si engineer si one for si foreman and si engineer walang productivity rate yan kasi nagbabantay yan Okay? Now, for the productivity rate, ang mangyayari, gagamitin nat kukunin natin yung average. Okay? So, for the productivity rate, productivity rate of the gang, that would be equivalent to uh, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, ilan sila? Tatlong helper. So, times 3 plus yung mason natin, 0 0.67, ilan siya, times 1, plus, you have our steel man, 0 0.05, times 1, isa siya. Na ngayon, ilan sila? So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divided by 5, okay? Therefore, our productivity rate is equivalent to uh, 0.45 times 3, plus 0.67 times 1 plus 0 0.05 times 1 divided by 5. And that is equivalent to 0 0.414 and that is man hour per square meters. Okay? Now, for the duration, uh, duration, it is equivalent to, okay? Sa duration natin, ilan yung uh, area? Ang area ng ating uh, is equivalent to wait seven uh, eighteen point seven seven five okay take note ang gagamitin natin dito is masonry because from the table ang nakalagay doon masonry labor requirements so masonry na siya as a whole and yung masonry area natin is eighteen point seven seven nine okay 
So, 18.775 pala. So, it is 18.775 and this is in square meters times the productivity rate of 0 0.414 man hour per square meters. Now, 8 man hour is equivalent to 1 uh, man day. Okay? So, square meters will cancel out. Uh, man hour, man hour will cancel out. Matitira is day. So, 18.775 times 0 0.414 divided by 8. Ah, uh, wait. Ah, yeah. Divided by 8. That is equivalent to 0 0.97 uh, 972 square meters 972 uh, Monday Monday okay but uh, basing it from our schedule practicality wise or uh, realistically wise hindi kayang tapusin yan itong uh, itong area na to ng isang araw bakit kasi pag nag CHB tayo uh, we have it uh, hanggang 6 layers lang ang pwede nating ipatong sa isang araw. Kailangan munang tumigas yung uh, yung mortar kasi gigewang yung uh, hollow blocks. Okay? So, after nung 6 layers, saka natin pwedeng ituloy isagad hanggang sa uh, sa beam o kaya sa slab. Ganun yun. Okay? But, uh, theoretically, kaya siyang tapusin ng isang araw. And this is equivalent to uh, one man day. Okay? yon Tapos, we're already done with the duration. Then, we can now uh, we can now solve for our labor. So, ilang araw magtatrabaho si foreman? We have one. Si skilled laborer, we have also one. Si project engineer, one. Si laborer, uh, we have one. This time, it is not six. It is three. Okay? So, the labor cost is equivalent to 600. Ah. Uh, so, this is 600, this is 1,000, this is 700, and we have here 1,200. Okay? Now, for the equipment, wala naman tayong ginamit na vibrator, no? So, we, we remove the vibrator, and uh, for the minor tools, yung mga tools ng, uh, yung mga tools ng mga uh, workers natin, so, let's say that is uh, around uh, 5,000. Okay, or yeah, let's say that's just around a roughly estimate of 5,000. Or if you have the value nung, uh, nung tools nila, then well and good. So, the number of days you have there, 1,000. So, therefore, the subtotal is equivalent to 5,000 for the equipment cost. Next, we have uh, the total here. So, the total for the uh, labor and the... Uh, the total for the labor. So, indirect, uh, sige. This is equivalent to 6,200. So, 6,200 pesos. Now, for the indirect cost, I no, for the direct cost, direct cost is equivalent to 1,200 plus 6, uh, 5,000. Plus, yung material cost natin. What is our material cost from our uh, estimated value? Wala pa pala tayong value for that. Now, we material cost. We have the cement. We have the sand. Uh, 150 mm CHB. We have the reinforcing steel bar. Okay? So, actually, kahit hindi natin isama sa material cost natin si water because it is part of the overhead expense. Okay? So, kasama yan sa bill na binabayaran natin for uh, energy consumption. Okay? So, for the cement, uh, na-compute natin sa cement is ilang bags na yun? 31 bag. So, 31 bags. Okay? 31 bags times magkano isang bag? Let's say, 260 pesos per bag. Then, for the sand, ilan yung sand natin? 2.55 times 2.55 cubic meter times 1,100 pesos per cubic meter. Then, for uh, 150 mm CHB 
ilan yung na-compute natin na CHB. For the CHB, we were able to solve 235 pieces. Okay, so 235 pieces. So, yun yung na-compute natin. So, 235 pieces times 15 pesos per piece. Then, for the RSB, ilan yung na-compute nating bakal? We have 18 pieces. Okay, so 18 pieces. We have 18 pieces times, we have, let's say it is around 180 pesos per piece. Okay, so it, it, it also plays an important role na dapat alam nyo yung mga presyo ng materials nyo sa area nyo. Okay, so nagvavary kasi yan, nagvavary yan, depending din sa transportation cost ng materials. Okay. So, for the cement, it is 260 times 31. So, that is 8,060. 2.55 times 1,100. That is 2,805. Then, 235 times 15, we have 3,525. Then, 18 times 180. We have 3,240. Therefore, the material cost is 17,630. Okay. So, for the direct cost, direct cost is it is equivalent to Yan. So, palitan din natin to. Uh, hindi ko na kasi binura from our previews. So, this is no long. Uh, we have here, ipasok nyo dito. We have the cement. So, nandyan si cement. Nandyan si sand. Nandyan din si uh, CHB. And nandyan din si RSB. So, yan. Okay, so ang unit ni ang unit ni cement is bag. Ang unit ni sand is cubic meter. Ang unit ni CHB is pieces. Ang si RSB is also piece. So quantity, we have 31 bags. Si sand is 2.55 while si CHB is uh, 235 pieces and si RSB is 18 pieces. Now I repeat Dapat ang nilalagay nyo na dito sa actual is the whole, uh, is already rounded up to the whole value. Okay? Then, yung unit cost, ayan. So, we have here 260 pesos, 1,100. Then, we have here fif, uh, 15 pesos and 180 pesos. Then, lalabas na dito yung costing. Ang total cost natin is 17,630. Now, for uh, masonry works, kahit, well, kahit wala na tayong consumables. So, ginagam, uh, more, uh, madalas lang tayo nagkakaroon ng consumables sa, uh, sa concrete works. But for masonry, uh, um, I don't think that's, all, uh, that's still applicable. Now, for the direct cost, direct cost is equivalent to uh, labor of 1,200 plus the equipment of uh, 5,000 plus uh, ano susunod dun? material cost of 17,630 okay yan so that is equivalent to 1, 2 plus 5,000 plus 17,000 so that is 23,830 pesos okay tapos we now proceed 23,830 okay. 23,830 now we proceed with our overhead so 2 times 0.15 diretso na natin 3,574.5 tapos uh, contractor's profit times 
So, that is 2,383. Tapos, VAT natin is uh, 23830 plus 3574.5 plus 2383 times 0 0.05. So, 1489.375. Now, for the, the indirect cost... Indirect cost natin, it is equivalent to uh, 3,574.5 plus 2,383 plus 1,489.375. So, indirect cost is 3,574.5 plus 2,383 plus 1,489.375. So, that is 7446.875. That is almost equivalent to 7446.88 pesos. Okay. okay. So, for the total cost, we have uh, plus 23830. So, total cost natin is... Uh, 2, 3, 8, 30 plus 7, 7, uh, 7, 4, 4, 6, 88. That is 3, 1, 2, 7, 6, 88 pesos. Okay? So, lagay natin dito. 3, 1, 2, 76, 88 pesos. Okay? Now, for the unit cost. Unit cost that is equivalent to thirty one thousand two hundred seventy six point eighty eight divided by the total uh, area of eighteen point seven. Where uh, area natin? Area natin is eighteen point seven seven five. So quantity. 18.775 square meters by 18.775 square meters therefore the unit cost divided by 18.775 1665.88 per cubic meter. So, total unit cost natin is 1,665.88 per cubic meter. And yung total cost natin, actually, uh, na-round lang, uh, dapat hindi, uh, pag hindi pa tayo nag-round dito, mag medyo mag-iiba lang sila ng decimal. But since we already rounded here, magiging parehas na sila. So, 31,276.88 pesos, okay? Yan.